Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny, and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag the Canics. CCTV. Hi guys, welcome back to our eating show. Hi oh. guys, so today we're back with another mukbang. Of course, <laughs> of course, it's a mukbang. And uh, we're back today, guys. We got some wings for you, some fried wings and some crispy homemade fries, y'all. These are all homemade. And um, so today, guys, uh, just with the wings, we got uh, like a sweet and spicy sauce that I made. And we also have a teriyaki sauce on those, um, on the rest of the wings. And the fries are just um, fried with a little bit of breading on them. Uh, nice little light breading. So that's pretty much what we got. And um, yeah, Danny's going to hit you with a couple things. Then we're going to eat. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And after, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give this video a thumbs up. Like it. That's right, guys. Hit that button and hit that bell. Remember, guys, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag again, it's just past 15,000 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. We're on the road to 25K. We believe we're going to get there. So help us, help us, help us. Share this video with your friends, family, everybody. Like it. You know, do those things. That gets us there. That helps us to grow. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and pray. Then we're going to eat, eat, eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless this food. Lord God, let it be nourished to our bodies, Lord God, and bless those who are less fortunate. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 So I'm ready to eat here. Want some ketchup. Yeah, I'm actually going to eat ketchup with my fries today. Y'all don't like ketchup no more with fries. Yeah. Sometimes. It's been so long. That's the only reason I'm eating. Man, when I was a child, I used to not shake that ketchup up. Honey, a waterfall. <laughs> I'd be like, I can't eat this. <laughs> I can't eat this burger. Nope. <laughs> There's water up here. Uh, check out that fry. Look at that <laughs> fry, boy. This, this good, boy. This is good. So if y'all wondering how I made the fries, I'll put a card right here. And that just links to our um, old fish and chips video. I make it, I cook them exactly the way I did the wedges in that video. Mm -hmm. So, boom. There you are, it. Yes, I was definitely feeling ketchup today. <laughs> I intentionally added a lot of onion powder to the little light bread and I put on these fries. So it's gonna, it helps make it taste like kind of like an onion ring. You notice? Mm-hmm. Good. All right, so this is one of the sweet and spicy wings right here. Here we go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Get into that. <laughs> yeah, I go loading up on potatoes. <laughs> mm. That's good, too. Blee, I'm about to try a wing because that last fry I had had some mm. sauce on it. <laughs> mm. So, no, I didn't do a recipe portion, but I will put the recipe for the sauces, the sauce recipes in the description box. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy. All you got to do is combine the ingredients in a pot mm -hmm. for the most part. Mm -hmm. Only problem is, I'm like grandma. You know, I eyeball stuff, so mm -hmm. just getting the right ratios is for our quick as best as I know her. Mm. Mm. Man, that was a fire. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to tell you I can, but I gotta eat another one of these real quick. It's good. It's fine. It's I ain't even tried that one yet. You didn't tell you I can? Mm-hmm. 
sure y'all go, y'all can have this tip. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yeah, honestly, I didn't. You probably caught me a lot, but I didn't mean to make this many fries. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's only like four small potatoes. Once I got through cutting them, I was like, what in the world? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't think they were like little potatoes. They were like four little potatoes. And they made a whole bunch of fries. Mm. See what this sweet and spicy. Talking about good. P.F. Chang. <laughs> Not P.F. Chang. Do they got chicken wings? No, but they got teriyaki sauce. I'm sure they got chicken wings. I ain't never been there. Who's been? Mm -mm. Mm. Right across the street from us. Uh -huh. Ain't never been. <laughs> never step foot. There's something about the commercial uh, Chinese that yeah. I worry about. I just like the yeah around the corner Chinese mm -hmm. restaurant. Um, we have an exceptionally good one. <laughs> we do. All right, that's probably why we never tried beer. Mm -hmm. is we think of Chinese food. <laughs> Chinese spot of the street is bomb. Mm -hmm. Everything always tastes fresh. It's like not just mediocre. You know, some Chinese food just when you want it, you want it. It satisfies you. You know, never like amazing. There's always good. Mm -hmm. From the chicken wings to the fried rice. There's good portion sizes too. <laughs> Which sauce do you like better? I'm only going to say the sweet and spicy because I just, I don't know. I think that's because I changed it from the last time I did it and it really tastes good. The, um, sweet and spicy. It came out better than I anticipated. That's why I'm just like, <clears throat> but the teriyaki is fine. I'm trying to choose. Yeah, I'll take them both. <laughs> Those sweet wings, I we eating sweet wings. Mm -hmm. Sweet meat. All right. Yeah. Ooh, that honey ham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Food today. It's like, mm -hmm. these are good food. I use Frank's in it. So, you know, Frank's has more vinegar than like Texas Pete. So, it's like the vinegar from the, the Frank's. 
still comes through with the sweetness, which seems kind of weird, but mm -hmm. good. You know, I want to try that, um, that challenge where you eat whatever somebody ordered in front of you, but I'm afraid. <coughs> I'm afraid I'm going to get a dry burger. Like, I need to go Chick-fil-A and do it. <laughs> because I know I won't be disappointed. <laughs> so I didn't eat anything on their menu. Right. But, like, imagine going to McDonald's and be like, <laughs> See? give me the order in front of me. Over here, uh, a fish fillet bald. <laughs> a burger with only ketchup on it. <laughs> right. Well, I know it's going to be bad. <laughs> and to be honest, you know, when we come down to McDonald's burgers, it kind of feel like I'm over it, but I like, I can eat like that quarter pound of stuff, but I need the cheese, like. Right. I can't eat McDonald's burgers without cheese. And I feel like that's, well, every, every video, we like B loves. Every time they go to McDonald's and they do that, somebody is like, "Oh, meat and cheese." I'm like, people don't like cheese. <laughs> Why are you leaving the cheese off? I need it. To be honest, I don't like eating a burger without it. Right, it just does something for. It, but McDonald's is like a must. It mm. makes that burger taste better. Like I need cheese. <laughs> Quarter pound of no cheese. Mm -hmm. so. I think even when I used to get like kids meals, I had cheese. If I had a cheese bur a burger, it had cheese on mm. it. Double hamburger. <laughs> Nobody wants a double hamburger. The choke zone. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't do it. Mm. <clears throat> they were going to talk about double standard. Double standard. And how you feel about them. So the first one is, if you owe a company money, you will be charged interest, late fees, and service interruption fees almost immediately after the due date. Come on, come on. I think I know where you're going. Oh, you know, do you think you know come where on. I'm going? I believe so. But if a company uh -huh. <laughs> owes you money, Hello. <laughs> you might see it in four to six weeks <laughs> on two to three billing cycles. Right, get out of church, I'm about to kiss. What the? Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you did not have to do that. What is that? You run me my money. You over here asking for your money. Give me mine. What made me angry now is when I go turn something to Walmart and they over here talking about they gonna put it back on my card. Okay, fine and dandy, but I got to wait some days. Well, actually, see what they um if you pay for it with a debit card, they can put it. They can give you cash. Oh, no! Why they always be trying to put it? It's big? that dumb. It's just the dumb people that oh. they have there that it will yeah, try to hurry up and mad. put it back on your card. If you pay for it with a debit card, it doesn't have to go back on the card. Now, you use, if you use credit or you use your credit card, then yeah. But otherwise, they don't have. They can give you cash back. It's just those employees, that, especially that one girl. She always tries to. Um, I know no, he got one specifically. I know because I didn't want to. I wanted to. Um, one time I had, I had returned something a couple times, and the first time she did it, I saw how like it's like as if she didn't want me to um to have the cash. So she hurried up, put it back in my car, and I was just like, whatever, because I just needed it return, whatever. Just going back. But the next time, I was actually going to use the same money from the return at a different store. I was going to go to a different store and get what I was returning because, yeah. I got the same girl. She thought she was about to do it again. Like, <laughs> I said, I need cash. I said, I know I used to work here. I said, yeah, it's a debit transaction. <laughs> you can give me cash. Because, no. Like, <laughs> but y'all don't know when they started doing it. Cause like I said, in the past, that's how I thought it worked. It's, a, it's just the, who you're hmm. dealing with. Oh, uh, they don't. Well. She's supposed to ask you if you like if you want cash. Cause most of the time, just get here. Cause I'm about to go use it again. You gonna get it right back. 
sick of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you always arrive to work late, you're in big trouble. If you have to stay late because work never finishes on time, then it's no big deal. Right. I didn't mail my work up in it. <laughs> right. Well, see, I can't understand that. You know what I'm saying? The boss is looking at you crazy when you be ready to get to the right. time part. But, like, yeah. like It's time for me to go. Nobody's rushing you out the door. No. <laughs> they be wanting you to stay. I don't want them. But y'all, I done told y'all already in the past. If I stay late, I itch. I start to itch. I gotta go. <laughs> You can ask AJ. I don't know what if it's like a tick thing for me, but like my during my work week at night I itch. <laughs> I think it's because I know I gotta go the next day. But on the weekend I'm fine. When you work over <laughs> I eight don't, hours, I don't itch at all. But when you work over eight <laughs> hours, Daniel works ten. I've worked twelve for years. You, it's just too much, especially twelve hours because. No matter what, I'm already going to be spending more time either work-related altogether because I have to spend time getting ready to work, commuting to work, being at work, leaving work, and getting home. That's overall half my day. That's more than half my day. So <clears throat> nobody has time to play around past the time that you're supposed to be there. Like, it's right. just not. It's like... Unless you have no, I'm not going to say no life because it's not fair to some people. Unless you don't have any family pressing or pressing things outside of work to where you just good like that. Nobody trying to sit up at work, man. No. This is, no. <laughs> I count down the minutes once it's 5 o'clock. I count down from 30. <laughs> Each minute. Oh, I got 15. Oh, I got 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'd be ready to go, and like with with my job, if I get started on something, it's hard for me to just like stop. So let's say I start at five. Most of the time, I'm not gonna get out at five thirty. I can't. Once I start a task, you gotta follow through. So I just don't start it. Right. <laughs> I'll go do some some something else. Little. <laughs> um, the next one is if I wake up at four p.m. And go to bed at 9 a.m. I'm lazy and do nothing all day. But if I wake up at 4 a.m. And go to bed at 9 p.m. I'm seen as a responsible member of society. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I work the exact same number of hours. Make the same money. Or do the same exact amount of housework. I get that one, but I don't. That's because only because... They, people uh, work night shift. That's only because... Corporate America operates on a day shift yeah. schedule, and so that's why, because you that's that's why is you have um like I said corporate America, and then of course all the jobs that are um, considered professional jobs operate on a day shift schedule. So mm -hmm. anything outside of that, you're a bum. That's and you know. somebody got somebody got to make your <coughs> paper at night. Right, <laughs> the yeah. paper you writing on, the paper you printing. The clothes you wearing, right. somebody got to do it. And if they just because it. you don't get up in the morning and, and button the suit or right. get up in the morning to do whatever that doesn't make you any lazier than the next person. Exactly. Unless you just lazy. <laughs> and then, then that's a whole, they don't even fit in that category. You don't even fit in that category. Parents often talk down to their kids and are disrespectful, but kids will get in trouble for talking back to them the same way. For example... Snipping at every mistake, shouting the kid's name from across the house, and expecting them to drop everything and come talk to them, and dismissing anything the kid has to say that they don't agree with. I agree. I, I, I agree. <laughs> but but I'll at probably the end of gonna the day, be the same way. At the end of the day, nothing gives a kid the right to be disrespectful because no. that's your parents. But at the end of the day. <laughs> I do agree because I'll let that stuff happen to me. Read it again. No. What did you say? Go down the well, list. Well, for example. Yeah, what would you say? Snipping at every mistake. Yeah, uh-huh. Shouting the kid's name from across the house. Yeah, AJ. Uh-uh. Yeah. 
What's that? Oh, and um, expecting them to drop everything and to come talk to them. Right. Mm-hmm. And dismissing anything the kid says that they don't agree with. Yep. Every one of those has been probably happened to me um, 50,000 times over. But they're, talk, they're talking about with kids, but I've been done like that as an adult. That too, yeah. All the way into the door. <laughs> so I don't agree with. Okay. Well, like I told AJ, now if, if me and one of my parents have some kind of disagreement, I don't even take the energy. I don't even take my breath. And I don't even do it. I just say, okay, because most of the time, now I'm not going to say I'm always right with them, but... Mm, 70% of the time I am, and they have to come back and say, well, you know what? Yes, I do know what. <laughs> come on, come on with it. Come on, I know you don't want to say it. Come on, make, yeah, make whole, my day. Yeah, make me Hulk feel Hogan. good. <laughs> what? Yes, that. Make, make my day. Make <laughs> me feel good. Okay? I'd be with <clears throat> What you got? What? Which, like I said, I'm saying all these things. <sighs> these things have happened to both of us, but I'm probably going to do luck. the same. What? I said, you lucky. Oh, uh, yeah. My parents, they, they don't apologize. <laughs> Every now and then, <laughs> I'll be I'm lucky. I'm saying that as adults. I wouldn't hold my breath. I don't, I don't remember too many kid apologies. I don't care if we talking about adults or... <laughs> uh, well, I wouldn't hold my breath too much. Yeah, now, I'm, I'm not gonna say they wouldn't. I think if I think if they really felt like they were wrong, the problem is really feeling like you were wrong. That's that's, that's the problem. But um, I mean, whatever it is, what it is. I know how to just um when, when nowadays. See, you know, I don't live with my parents. Don't live close to them right now, which is not a deal. You know, what I'm saying big deal. I already know. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, because of that, of course, we probably have limited disagreements because right. we're not around each other very often at all. And so um, when we are, it's, it's mostly, you know, positive vibes. <laughs> but the more you we're around each other, the more we're likely to disagree. And I'm talking about both of my parents, you know. Um, but the way I handle that nowadays is, you know, just kind of like, once I feel it going south, I just kind of like, all right, and <laughs> if I can change the subject or talk to somebody else, I'll do that. That way we don't have to go there because it's a little, you know, too much for me these days. And, um, you know, you got to pick your battles. <laughs> Everything ain't worth it. Just shut up. You, right. you know, steal your pants, whatever. All right. Like I said, I pray I'm not like that, but I probably will be. Well, I probably will yell for our kids. Hey, come get this remote. Oh yeah. And then I'm sitting right there, I mean, two I feet won't away. Be, I, won't, I know I can I know there's some things I will definitely do that will be different. <laughs> but you know, there's probably going to be several things my child will probably be gritting his teeth about. And it's just the way you it is. better just grin them and not open. <laughs> if you open, I'm going to do like this. I got a sandwich <laughs> made of knuckles. No I got a sandwich made of knuckles. <laughs> no sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> no sandwiches. Uh, businesses should do whatever it takes to get ahead. But if the employee tries to make their life better or find a new job, they are lazy and ungrateful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I worry about Danielle. <laughs> what what better is Danielle? That's I've seen what I some care dirty about. things go down when um, some people uh, told that they were leaving and going somewhere else. Oh, man. Don't do that. And that's why you should keep things to yourself. Okay? It is. Exactly I don't let why. nobody know my moves. Don't let these people out here uh, they don't know talk to nothing. you as if they care about you that much. Now, I'm not saying people don't have uh, co-workers who care about them, right. but I've seen a lot of mess, and I'm not even that old. And just the jobs that I've had, I've seen some dirty stuff go down. Mm-hmm. That's dirty stuff happened to me. And, um, I mean, by co-workers and bosses, uh, your authority, you know, and um, your superiors. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, like, superiors alike, I've seen that some dirty stuff, man. You know, I like I just why I go to work. Right. I do my job and I go home. I don't have I, I don't make friends mm-hmm. uh, intentionally. Um, if I have a couple friends at work, that's cool. But still, I only disclose so much information. 
I do not talk about my personal life in, in, in depth. I don't I don't hang um, and and show you this and that and tell you all this and because people are dirty. You know? At all costs, I try to avoid. <laughs> I will do the most to avoid. I will go walk around somewhere I don't even need to walk at to avoid people. <laughs> it's bad, but it you know in a workplace it's gotten me you know in a good position. Right. <laughs> you know, for Being avoidable. That you is ever what heard I keep am. your head down and do your work. That's what I do. I mean, some people you know some people say that you know, of course, to, some, to uh, depending on the nature of your job or what you're doing or whatever. You got to be, you know, you got to be able to be social and this and that. But I mean, if you're gonna go get it, go get it. Do it by all means. But I still, you still don't gotta make friends and um, disclose all your personal life. Right. Like I say, I'm friendly. Like I said, because when it comes time to go, <laughs> like if it comes time, like you said, bettering yourself, finding a new job, a place to work, or anything like that, then you become the enemy, mm-hmm. or you become a target. Somebody trying to, you know what I'm saying? Somebody trying to take your spot. You might just be contemplating. You might not even made it, you know, but then it becomes a big deal. And um, somebody trying to move you out of the way so they can, you know, be where you are. Mm-hmm. Hey. Honey, let me tell you something. Like I said, when it comes to stuff like that, I look out for what is best for I am I'm selfish. I'm calling in, baby. I'm selfish. <laughs> me. I want me to myself, and I can't help it. It's me. <laughs> it's me I care about. <laughs> but that's all I get. I'm finishing. That's all you got. I'm finishing. That's all we get. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us today. We yeah. really do appreciate it, guys. Remember, before you leave, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel with the bell on. And also, guys, remember to like this video. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think of this video. Because, guys... Love to interact with you in the comment section, guys. Remember, share this video, share it with everybody, 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 because sharing is caring. So care about us, care about us, guys. We love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining us. You got anything else? No. Take us out. Bye. Bye. Yes. You want to see a magic trick? Let me show the camera. Take it too long. One magic trick. Two magic tricks. Three magic tricks. Ready for work. <laughs> and just take them out. <laughs>